Hey everybody, welcome to part 12 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Now, in this episode, my girlfriend got paid. Weird. My, <laughs> literally, as soon as I record, Crash had nothing, and then this, it's like, got paid. But anyways, um, what I want to do is I want to do some of the timed duels. So we're going to go back to our room, and we're going to actually use the... Or not, not the tutorial. Uh, the P... Do time duel. There we go. I'm like, why am I... We'll do a few more. I don't want to burn out on these, though. So we'll do number nine. Okay. So we got blue eyes versus face down versus gravity mine. So we can't attack. Oh, it's this one again. Well, traps negate it. What's your ability, Kaiser Glider? This card cannot be destroyed. Results of battle. When this card battles a monster with the same attack, it is destroyed and sent to the giver. Return. Return one monster on the field to its owner's hand. Okay, that doesn't really help much. Back to square one. Book of Tayo. Um, detail screen. Book of one monster. I still think we have to activate Book of Tayo because we failed this on our exam. Okay, that was Hane Hane. No, see. See, that's what the issue is. Is I don't think we're supposed to activate Book of Tayo. I think what we do is we activate back to square one. Oh, oh my. You know what I just realized? It doesn't even matter what we get rid of. We just get rid of this. We get rid of you. And then since Jinzo's immune to trap cards, we just summon Jinzo. Why did I not notice that? That was a really easy one, and I completely failed. We still got into raw yellow, and it's not like we can get into, uh... Obelisk Blue right away from being red. You have to actually go through each one. Though if we fail, we have to go back to red, so... What is this? Crass Clown. Details. Let's catch in and return one monster from the field to its owner's hand. Marauding Captain. Okay, with both Marauding Captains, they c we can't do anything. Call the Haunted doesn't work. DNA Surgery doesn't work. The Tribe Infecting Virus does. Oh! I see what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to return Marauding Captain, because with two Marauding Captains, oh, you can't attack anything. Now, Mage... I can also can't activate Mage Power. Oh, because of you. I'm gonna summon you. Uh, okay, discard one card from your hand, declare one type of monster. That monster can't. Oh! Okay, I think I, I think I know what we have to do. We have to discard you. And then we are gonna declare machines, wherever machine is. Right there. And there goes Jinzo. And with that, we can now activate DNA Searcher. What does this do? Select one type of monster as long as it will be treated as the type you select. Why? Oh, wait. I see what it is. I think we're going to go machine again. I actually have no idea what we were supposed to do there. Actually, I think we win right here. I don't think it matters. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We win anyway. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Weird. And we succeeded in another one. Let's do 18. Oh, this looks easy enough. Okay, so we got a card that wants to trigger. Marauding Captain and Don Zalug. Offerings to the Doom. We have to do 2,000, which means looks like we have to get him out completely. Offerings to the Doom. Destroy one face of monster. Skip it. Oh. Oh, get rid of the dark type, obviously. Wait, what's your ability, though? When they're only face of attack, when 16 or more attacking your opponent's side of the field, this card can attack. 
Oh, sneaky. So what we gotta do is we gotta actually destroy Marauding Captain. Because Mystical Plasma Zone will increase his attack power. So then we activate Mystical, or Mystic Plasma Zone. I always call it Mystical Plasma Zone. Then we summon uh, Drillago, or Drillago. Then we enter battle phase and we can attack directly. Yep, attack your punster, light punster, directly. Nice. 2100. See, that one was actually really fun. I like that one. Okay. Is it like Blue Eyes Ultimate or something? St. Joan, no. Horse Raider, Call the Haunted, Mystical Beast Surcat, Cathedral of Nobles. Isn't this like the field spell that goes with it? Control this card can activate traps to turn that theory set. Additionally, by setting this card and missing this to the graveyard. Oops, I always forget that. It's not that button. Uh, when they are on the field, you may select one monster card from your hand deck or fusion deck and special summon. Oh, who are you? Who has ultimate dragon? Ooh. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna activate this. Wait, no. Did I just screw up by doing that? Or did I screw up by doing that? I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, yeah, I see what I did. I I, I triggered it too fast. I, I got cocky. Alright, so what we gotta do is we're gonna activate this. And then we're gonna summon you. There we go. Activate. Activate this. Then we're, then we're gonna summon Vorse Raider because I believe we need Vorse Raider as the extra attack power. And then we're gonna summon Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I love how like I asked if that was Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but this is actually Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Because I believe what we're gonna need is we're gonna need the attack power of both. Because this won't be enough to win us the duel right here. Oh, we did it perfectly. That was beautiful. This is like so far the only one that ends like with the exact amount. Hey, okay, let's do 20. The hardest one apparently out of this list. Okay, so there's King of the Skull Servants, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Skull Servant, Skull Servant, Card Destruction. Okay, we'll activate this then. Obviously. Tribute to- You do know that this is a joke, right? You literally just get three of them in the graveyard, destroy Blue Eyes Ultimate, you have 3,000 attack points, and you win. Like, man, can I get this one for my exam? This one's really easy. It's literally really easy. Easiest one, even compared to the first one. So there's Umi. And we're fighting Empress Mantis. Megamore Premature Burial. Can attack life point, opponent's life points directly. Wait, who's in my graveyard, though? <gasps> Ooh, is it Starboy? If it's Starboy, I think I know what we have to do. It's Dark Elf, actually. But I'm pretty sure what we want to do is we want to do this. Uh, detail screen. My life points are lower than your opponent's. Double the attack of the equipped monster. Oh. Pretty sure what I want to do is I want to trigger it on that, right? Yeah. Because... I don't get it, though. I really don't. I don't get it. This one's difficult. I don't get this one. But... Okay, you know what? We'll come back to that one because I don't actually under... I don't 
quite get that one, so let's do six. Do the easy ones first. That one's weird. Portrait Secret, Gravekeeper Spy, Fatal Abacus. Uh, each time one monster card is inflict fire or direct damage uh, per card to the respective owner's hand. Ooh, we can't lose a single card. Big Evolution Pill. Granador, Captain. What is your ability? Oh! Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see what we gotta do here. We do that. Then we summon you. I believe when I watched Nufi Bonga's LP of this, this is one of his, excuse me, exam ones. Let me activate Ultra Evolution Pill. Offer the Reptile Monster. But since he wasn't destroyed, he doesn't lose the effect. And, okay, so... If we attack you, we do... Not enough? Really? Oh wait, no, never mind, never mind, never mind, we do. We do enough. I forgot about Fatal Abacus. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I see what we do. We attack into defense position and then we nuke our own card. So, we want to summon Rotting Captain. Yeah, Marauding Captain then summons Granadora. And then we activate Evolution Pill. Get rid of Granadora. We then summon Dark, Dark Dresseratops. And then what we do is we actually attack his defense position with Dark Dresseratops. Like this. Because we still do Piercing. And then with this, we just nuke this, we'll be left with 100 life points, and they'll be dead. So yay! Figured it out. Ah, that one's sneaky, but that one's good. So one monster, and I got five cards. So we have no idea what it is, but we got Book of... Alright, it was better that we have him in attack mode then. Inner Bug, Ultra Evolution Pill, Change of Heart. Oh! I see. This is an interesting one, because I'm pretty sure we still have to summon you. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate this. And we're gonna summon Dark Triceratops again. Which is really weird in my opinion, because that's two in a row that use Dark Triceratops. Dark Triceratops would be good though for an actual deck in this game. And then we attack with these two and we win. Because 2800 plus uh, 450 is 2850, and we only need to get him down 2800. So, yay! Can you guys, like, stop stepping on all the crinkly stuff, please? My cats are crazy. Okay, what do we got? We got Sasuke Samurai and Spell Canceler. Uh, when this card attacks the face, it destroy it automatically. Suki Yomi. Can't activate those, though. When this card, when this, okay, uh, when this card is uh, summon, based on defense position. Okay, so we're gonna have to summon you. Then we're gonna trigger spell canceler. Go into based on defense mode. Oh, and then we activate tribute to the doomed. Interesting. Lightning vortex is just an elaborate ruse. Goodbye. Getting destroyed by a spell card when you're immune to spell cards. You know how funny that is, man. And we have just enough to beat him. Sweet. An interesting little combo, but we got it. Yes, yeah, what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got on number 10. I still don't get the Umi one, though. Oh, he can't be destroyed. What's Magical Explosion? You have no cards in your hand. Inflict 200 damage to each spell card in your grip. Okay, that's an interesting card. Also, I just realized something that's annoying me. I apologize. I don't. I don't get why that does that. But Axe of Despair, Tribute to the Doomed, Mystic Plasma Zone, Summon Skull, Dark Hole. What? Do I want to? Oh wait, I think I know what I have to do. I think I do that. 
activate this. I use this to destroy Marshmallow instead of doing the piercing damage, so then I get Summon Skull into the graveyard, but also have another spell card. And then I'm gonna destroy my own monster in the end, and then activate the trap card. I see what's going on here. I see what it is. Yeah, because then what we want to do is we want to go to main phase 2. And we activate Dark Hole. No, we're not going to chain it. Because we want all the uh, trap cards in the... All the spell cards in there. Wait, what? I don't get that. Okay, you know what? I gotta figure it out again. Okay, so this triggers when we have no cards in our hand, right? And it's for 200 for each one. So two, four, six. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. I just realized. I'm supposed to actually summon you. So get rid of you. Also, third one with Dark Triceratops, by the way. Equip with Axe of Despair. Um, I'm pretty sure then activate Tribute to the Doom on Mystic Plasma Zone. I am almost entirely sure. Not activate Dark Hole yet. Attack you with this. Go to main phase 2. Activate Dark Hall. Don't, don't chain it. Activate this. We still come up 100 points short. Okay, that one's a little difficult. We'll go back to 14 here. Let's see what this one is. We got a card in the graveyard. We got Penguin Soldier and Jack Knight. Our graveyard includes Divine Dragon Ragnarok, which is 1500. Premature Burial Cave Dragon. If there is a monster in front of field, you cannot. Oh. Okay. Right. So what we're gonna have to do is we actually have to activate you. So we're gonna turn you, and we're gonna actually return Penguin Soldier. Then we're gonna activate Premature Burial. To then summon Divine Dragon Ragnarok. See, this one's easy. And then all we have to do is summon Cave Dragon. Wait, what? Wait, what? If there's a monster on your opponent's side of the field, you cannot normally summon this guy. In addition, if there are no dragon type monsters except this card on your side of the field, this monster cannot attack. Oh, wait. Hang on. I know what I did wrong. What happens is you can't summon it until your cards are gone. So what we gotta do is we gotta do this again. And we do it like this. But then what we do is we summon Cave Dragon. And then we activate Premature Burial. To then get Divine Dragon Ragnarok out. And now what we can do is we can just attack with these guys. Because now he can attack and we'll do exactly 1500 or 3500. And just hang on a sec. First text message that I'm answering throughout this. Anyways, there we go. Divine Dragon Ragnarok sounds so much tougher than it really is. Sadly, you don't get money for this, though. And it's a 15. Looks like they got a ritual. They got Maiden in the Aqua and Crab Turtle. We got Gear Freed, the Iron Knight, Lightning Blade, and Ripple. You do know that this is literally a joke, right? You just activate this. And then we special summon you. And we'll activate Lightning Blade, which also decreases the power of water monsters, as well as powers of warriors. Plus, he destroys a monster. So we'll destroy you. Who also powered him up. And then we just end the battle phase and win. And here we go. Hopefully we do enough. There we go. That was... See, these ones are really easy. Those ones are like crazy easy. I don't want to do too many of this in this episode, but 
Is this the uh, Umi one? Okay, this is the Umi one. This is what I don't get. So Umi decreases the power of machines, right? Yeah. But... Dark L. I don't get this, though. Because I want you, but I don't want this. I don't see why I wouldn't activate Dark Elf, though. Well, activate Premature Burial to get Dark Elf. But why my life points are lower than my opponent's? I don't... I don't quite get it. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what I gotta do. I gotta do it on that. But what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to attack that right away. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack... No. See, what I want to do is I want to actually attack into the monster. See, then what will happen is when this attacks... We'll actually lose a thousand life points and be lower. But then we're still short a thousand. What? I don't get this one. Is there like a way to get rid of Umi? I don't get it. Hmm. We'll try this one then. Alright, okay, hang on. I don't want to activate anything yet. So we got Mad Dog of Darkness, Blaze Ultimate Dragon, Call the Haunted doesn't work, Megamorph, Acts of Despair, Order to Charge. What's this? Off of the normal monsters attribute to destroy. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Oh, I see what it is! You don't wanna activate Call the Haunted! You wanna get rid of this, and then destroy Blue Eyes. No, and then it's then it's tricking you into using that. So you wanna actually activate Premature Burial. So then you're lower than your opponent's life points, and then you summon Mad Dog of Darkness. Not use Call the Haunted. See, this is where the Umi one gets me screwed up though, because then now we can activate Megamorph, as well as Axe of Despair. And then this card will be well more than it. Like, that's way over. Like, could have had a weaker card, guys. So that one's really easy. Like, I don't get what's with that Umi one. Okay, so we got Dr. Ceratops, Marshmallow, and Magical Ex Oh, wait, this one again, yeah. Why do I have a feeling like I want to keep that? I'm actually going to try that. So I'm going to actually activate Axe of Despair, right? See, I'm always short just a little bit though. Actually, hang on. I think I'm just supposed to get rid of Dark Hole. I think I'm actually supposed to summon... Yeah, hang on. Summon you. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Summon you. Activate Axe of Despair. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get rid of all the cards that we don't need anymore. Activate Tribute to the Doom. Get rid of Dark Hole instead. Like, I, not, I never once said that I needed to get rid of my own card. Activate Mystic Plasma Zone. No, I'm not gonna activate it yet. Yeah, because I'll have enough now. I only needed two in there. Jeez Louise! I don't know why I didn't think of that. That was actually easier than I thought of. And let's do this last one. Tragedy. Okay. 
Um, you can only activate this card when you're when a monster in side of the field is face up in attack position. Change the defense and destroy all defense position monsters from side. Oh, so Kaiku destroys that kangaroo. And you're. Why did I do that? So, what the heck is with you? Also, I didn't mean to actually turn him to defense mode. I meant to actually read his ability, but I clicked defense mode instead of detail screen. The monster of the battles is going to change defense mode. Oh! I see. Okay, if I attack with that, a thousand will be left with 100. So, yeah. So, what I gotta do is all I gotta do is attack you into him. Like this. I lose a lot. I don't have any cards for you to remove from play. And then I activate Tragedy. And then I can just attack directly. Wing Karibo is just there for whatever reason. Like, I don't actually know why Wing Karibo is in here. Just for the fun of it, I guess. Okay, now it just leaves the Umi one at number 16. Which I don't get, because we need to... We got Amphibious Bug Growth. Okay, so premature burial. Okay, right? Premature burial. If I... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I see what I think I'm supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to use you. And then equip it to you. Like, yeah, you're lower now, but... What I think I'm supposed to do is I think I'm supposed to attack you into you. Yeah, and then we attack directly. Ah, I don't know why that was difficult. You guys are probably screaming at me how to do that. But anyways, there we go. We beat Time Duel level 1. So that leaves us with... Another 20, 40, 60, 80 duels to do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time for some more Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. Bye-bye, guys, and have a wonderful day. I also pulled out my headset on my ears and almost rocked the cord. Smart of me. Bye-bye. <laughs>